Oh no, I don't have any words today. Why can I still talk? Honey, how many words did you get today? Um, one million. Wow, that's a lot. Hey girly, have you ever tried to talk when you didn't have any words left? No, you can't talk if you don't have any words. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. <laughs> Look at Jimmy over there. He has no words again. Let's all throw pencils at him. <laughs> Guys, wait. This isn't right. One day it could be you that has no words left. Yeah, but it's Jimmy. That's true. Come with me. You're being arrested for word theft. Word theft? But I didn't steal any words. No, no. You need to keep the handcuffs on. That's it. You're going to jail for life. Wait. Has anyone ever had infinite words? No, that's impossible. Then you might want to see this. A four-letter word? That shouldn't be too hard. Ugh, my contacts are all blurry. I can't even see. Now, what letter should I guess next? This word seems hard. I don't think you'll be able to guess it. Okay, whatever. Actually, thank you. Just two more letters to go. I can have three wrong answers. I'm just going to guess P. Uh, D? D blank C K. Come on, we all know what word this is. Guess I. Okay, I. It's wrong. I only have one guess left. Oh. Oh, it was O. The next prize is 100K. Hurry, give me my word. Happy 17th birthday. Hurry, blow out the candles. I want to see what mark you'll get. Please be gold. Please be gold. Well, what's my mark? There's nothing there. Why didn't I get a mark? It's gold. It has to be gold. It's going to be gold today. Honey, it looks like your mark finally came in. I always knew you'd be successful. Yeah, me too. Wow, you got a gold mark. I'm so jealous. I only got blue when I turned 17. Brianna, that's so awesome. You got a gold mark. Did you expect it? Yeah, I mean, that's the mark I always thought I'd get, so... <laughs> On your neck, it's red. You're dangerous. Hey, could you be more gentle? Oh, sorry, Pencil. Pencil? You can talk? Yeah, of course I can, you little. Ah! No matter how much makeup you put on, you're always going to be ugly. Oh, you little. <laughs> Why won't you rip? You know, I really don't think this shade of pink is your color. Really? You think so? What color do you think would suit me best? Um, Brianna, are you talking to a lipstick? What? She was talking to me first. Mmm, gummy bear. No, no, please don't eat me. I have a waving kid at home. I'm sorry, gummy bear. I gotta do what I gotta do. No, 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 papa, papa, you eat my dad. Look at my new wallet. Ooh, let me see. Ew, it's worthless. Hey, I just bought that. My daddy's a millionaire. I can't touch anything cheap. I'll break out in hives. Spare change. Spare change, please. Ew. Don't touch me with this cup. It's probably covered in garbage and dirt. Actually, on second thought, I'm taking this. No, it's all I have. Why are you holding a cup that says money, please? I don't know. I took it from some random homeless man. It says it's worth a lot of money. Brianna, the meter doesn't show how much the object is worth. It shows how much the person who owns the object is worth. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, why are you crying? It's your baby sister. She's not going to make it. The doctor says she only has 100 heartbeats left. Here, she can have half of mine. I don't need that many. Honey, wait. Hey, girl. Hey, I uh, gotta go. Hey, wait. You know I can tell when something's off about you. What's wrong? I only have enough heartbeats to last me one more day. Here, I'm giving you half. No, you really shouldn't have done that. Now you're going to live half as long as you should. Come on. Now how could I live this world without you? Mom, I'm home. Hurry, we have to go to the hospital right now. Mom's sick. Mom, what happened? It's my heartbeats. How much do you have left? 3,000. So I'll give you half. Honey, please, live a long life. For me. No, I can't live without you. You have to. Goodbye. Happy birthday! Wow! A gummy bear! 
Thank you. There's one more gift for you. Who's it from? There was no name. It's blank. Happy birthday. Thank you. Now there's one more gift. Another card. Does it say who it's from? It doesn't say anything. It's another blank card. Happy sweet 16. Thank you. Let me guess. Another blank card? Yes. It's the same one as always. Who would do that? Every single year. Happy birthday. Oh, you got a card? Who's it from? I don't know. Every year on my birthday since I was 10, I've received a blank card in the mail. That's kind of creepy. Wait a minute. White ink. There's something written in this card. White ink. These cards aren't blank. There's something written in them. My papa reads encrypted messages for a living. We can take the cards to him and find out what they say. What do you have for me? This is the first card I received when I was 10. Ah, uh, yes. Find me where the flowers grow. I'm in the garden down below. That doesn't make sense. What is it, some kind of riddle? Maybe we'll understand if we read all the cards. This is the second card. X, Y, Z, X, B. That is the key to set me free. Do you have a pencil? Here. What are you doing? I'm writing it down. It must be some kind of code. This is the third card. The place I am you have in your memory. We used to play there before you were stolen from me. Wait a minute. I know the place. Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Brianna, I told you not to make any promises. Now you'll have a permanent mark until you fulfill your promise. Does anyone have a hair tie I can borrow? Yeah, here. Just promise me you'll give it back. Yes, of course. I promise. Sup, babe. Hey. I got you flowers. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. Promise me one day we'll get married. I promise. What university are you applying to? Harvard, of course. Um, you don't know? No what? You can't get into Harvard with any unfulfilled promises. They're very prestigious. I gotta go. I gotta get rid of all these marks. Is that even possible? I promise you, it is. Here's your hair tie back. Seriously, you're giving it back now? I don't even want it anymore. Well, you need to take it. I need to fulfill all my promises and get into Harvard, so... No, I don't want it. Take it! Okay, jeez. Thank you. You're so much better than my girlfriend. Hey! Babe, it's not what it looks like. I was, uh, giving her CPR. Come on. We're going to get married right now. And then, we're going to get a divorce. Wait, but I don't want to. Let's go! The only marks I have left is to fulfill all my promises and become famous. How am I going to become famous? Hmm, let's brainstorm some ideas. I know. I'm going to post thirst traps on TikTok. Brianna, no! How'd the video do? Did it get any views? Yeah, a lot of views. Then why don't you look happy? Everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> we saw your TikTok video. You thought you looked so hot. <laughs> Whatever, at least I'm famous. Oh yeah, you're famous, all right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm famous. Not the way I want it to be, but hey, at least my promises are fulfilled. Um, Brianna, you still have one mark left. What? Look. No, 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 no. My last promise was to fulfill all of my promises, and I did. I think that's sort of like a lifelong promise. So I can't get into my dream school? You could always try Yale. Brianna, you can't cover up your mark. They'll find out. How would they find out? I have to get into Harvard. It's my dream. Hi, I'm here to interview for Harvard. We've been expecting you. Come this way. I'm so thirsty. Mmm, water. I'll trade you for the water. Trade me those earrings and we have a deal. That's not a fair trade. Okay. <laughs> Yummy water. Fine. Here you go. Mmm, a bagel. I'll trade you for the bagel. I'll trade the bagel for the ring you're wearing. Seriously? There goes all my nice jewelry. Okay, deal. Please trade with me. I've been looking for food and water everywhere. No, I just traded for these. I'll trade you the black box of death. Black box of death? That sounds unsafe. It's mildly unsafe. Okay. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. All right, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise. But I meet every other requirement and then some. The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone. 
But how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey mom, the interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting into Harvard dishonestly. Your interview is tomorrow. You make a great candidate for Harvard. Thank you so much, sir. Can I come swim in my pool after school? Wow, you have a pool? My daddy owns an entire ocean. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Ow, you may kiss the bride. Mm. Brianna, did you finish your homework? Yep. You're lying. Um, I can't go to school. <coughs> I'm sick. Why lie if you know you're going to get caught? You're never going to be able to get a job when you're older if you have lots of marks. Whoa, you must have lied a lot. Yeah, I was a bit of a compulsive liar back when I was a kid, but I've been to therapy. I'm not like that anymore. I don't have any. Wow. Wanna go on a date later? Sure. I can't believe you let a liar into this establishment. I'm not eating here. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You're making people uncomfortable. Whatever, let's go. This always happens. I used to have lots of marks like you. Want to know how to get rid of them? Help me. Help me. Um, I have to go. I'm late for school. Hey, Bree, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, there was a lady when I was walking to school. She was just all in white. She was asking for help. She seemed really distressed. Did you help her? No, I panicked. Help me. Help me. Help. Ma'am, you're covered in blood. I need to go get cleaned up. Can you hold my baby? Uh, okay. It's been hours. She hasn't come back. Brianna, why do you have a baby? It's the lady in white. She asked me to hold her baby and then she disappeared. Uh-oh. You haven't heard of the tale of the lady in white? The tale of the lady in white? Yeah. That's not a baby. Yeah, that's not a baby. That's a demon. What are you talking about? That's clearly a baby. She disguises them as babies. That's how she gets her victims. You're crazy. What are you going to do with the baby? Well, I have to take it home with me. I can't just leave it. I'll check back tomorrow on the way to school if she came back. Mom, I'm home. I'm going to my room. Bye. Do I hear a baby? You must be super tired from work. I would go get some rest. Good night. Don't worry. We'll find your mommy tomorrow. It's that baby. <laughs> this is a demon. <gasps> Sup. Hello, young one. Oh no, I'm dead. How did I die? Drowning. I was having a who could hold your breath the longest competition with my friends. I won. Did you? So I can just choose whatever? Of course. Well, obviously. Wait, I wouldn't be so sure. Do you like parties? Yeah. Dancing? Okay. Hot guys with six packs? Oh yeah. Eternal suffering? Ooh. You just really had to throw in eternal suffering, didn't you? Honesty is the best policy. Come with me. I can offer you no judgment and eternal peace. <sighs> oh, boring. You can't be quiet for one second, can you? This is why you're my least favorite child. Really, dad? What if I just... Oh! Attention everyone, today's the day to choose your maximum time left. Remember, 80 years is the ideal, 100 is the maximum. I wish Brianna would choose less time. <laughs> Mom, I'm home. I could really use someone to talk to. I had a really bad day. I'm sorry, honey, but I have to work late again tonight. I left money for pizza on the counter. You know what? I'm picking the red one. Well, I guess picking the red one doesn't do anything. It says I have zero time left and I'm still here. Ellie, have you seen your sister? I haven't seen her all morning. I don't know. Maybe she already left for school. Mom, what are you talking about? I'm right here. Maybe. I'll just go check her room. Ow, you literally just bumped into me. She's not in her room. Ellie, tell mom. Sissy, where are you? I'm invisible. <gasps> Mommy, I got 1,000 years. Shh, don't say that so loud. Come on, we're leaving. But why? No one can ever know how many years you have. Put it to private immediately. Hey girl, why do you always keep your ears on private? I just don't see the need to share it, that's all. She probably has no years left, that's why. Jake, don't be mean. Hey mom, my years are still going up. It's almost at 3,000. Can you tell me why it's such a bad thing? Don't ever mention this to me again. Now go to your room. Everyone reveal your years immediately. Who are these guys? The legend has it that the girl who receives over thousands of years in her lifetime is the long lost 
princess. Everyone reveal your years. We must find the princess. They already are. Brianna's the only one who keeps her years on private. Reveal it now. <laughs> 3,000 years. Come with us. I'll be right back. Your driver should be here shortly. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me people were coming to the school today? I, I didn't know. Let's go. We're going home. But mom, I'm the princess. Come on. You are never going to leave your room ever again. Mom, no, don't leave me here. Mom! Hello there, princess. Are you a prince? I believe this is yours. A crown. It looks stunning on you. Here, take my hand. Let's get out of here. So you're the princess. Oh, we must get rid of those commoner clothes immediately. Follow me. Wow, this gown is gorgeous. Princess, your years, they're at infinite. But how is that possible? When the princess meets her soulmate, she gets infinite years. You must be my soulmate then. No, that's not possible. You have infinite years and he doesn't. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. Who else did I meet? Princess, it must be some kind of mistake. I know you're my soulmate. Will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you. You did save me after all. Prince? Prince, where are you? I need your help picking an outfit. I'm really nervous about meeting my real mother and father. Wait, what if the princess sees us? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's clueless. I have her wrapped around my finger. Princess, are you okay? Who are you? After all this time, you still don't know me? No. Wait. Everyone, reveal your years. We must find the princess. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. I do remember you. I have to show you something. Infinite years. So you're my soulmate? And not a prince? A servant boy? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I can't marry you. I must marry a prince and become queen. Are you ready to be married, princess? Don't speak to me. This is a transaction, not love. You will now be pronounced king and queen once your new crowns are worn. Wait, I object. This bag is so cute. Can I buy it? That'll be 1,000 years. 1,000 years? Okay. Hey girl, look at this new bag I bought. It's gorgeous. How much was it? 1,000. You wasted 1,000 years? Relax, I literally have like 10,000 years to use. Hey, welcome to the party. I'm leaving, there's no good food here. Guys, don't even sweat it. Give me your orders, I'll order food for everyone. All right, that'll be 10 years. Okay, sounds good. 10 years? Hey, Brianna, I uh, have a favor to ask you. Sure, what's up, Jake? There's this game I really want. It's not even out yet. You can only buy it online. I promise you I'll pay you back. Of course, Jake. Don't even sweat it. I'll buy the game for you. You should really be careful with buying things online. Chill out. It's for Jake. How many sips of air did you get today? 100. That should be more than enough. That's great. Now make sure you use your sips of air carefully. Of course I will, Mom. What are you doing? Don't make your oxygen tank so obvious. Why not? There's oxygen thieves at our school. Oxygen thieves? Yeah, they steal people's oxygen tanks and drink the whole thing. They get some sort of buzz out of it. What a bunch of weirdos. Give me your oxygen tank. No, this isn't an oxygen can. Can't you read? It says water. What's underneath it? Hey! I knew it. Give it here. No! <gasps> Yo, dude. No, no, stop. You're wasting it all. Whoa, I can smell colors. My oxygen. Hey, give her oxygen tank back. Oh, I can't breathe! Here's your oxygen can. Thank you so much. Oh no.
As we made our way through the valley, it was unlike anything I had ever seen. So beautiful, yet destructive. I felt the grip around my hand get tighter, I saw her breath in the cold air. Did you see that? She asked. I did. It was calamity. calamity. Say